Good morning from the highest point in the Algarve. And for the Algarve, that means Foya in the Monchique Mountains. Yes, and we're going to do a great hike up here. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. And uh, our views are going to be amazing because we're going to be able to see all the way down to Ferragudo to the Atlantic Ocean. Yep. And Ferragudo is how far from here? It's like... Probably 25 miles or so. Yeah. So great, easy drive up. Well, actually, we had a little detour but it was beautiful all through the eucalyptus yeah. um, we're going to show you some eucalyptus trees today we're going to show you some um, cork trees today yeah and as some of you may or may not know uh, Portugal I think I believe is the number one producer of cork yeah. in the world right. yeah so we'll show you some of that today and just some beautiful vistas so come along on the hike with us it's about four point seven miles. seven miles yeah round trip. Okay, let's go. In the Monchiques, you'll see tons of eucalyptus trees. It smells really good. And um, so they planted these initially to harvest them for the wood. They grow super fast. The problem is they also spread super fast. So actually several of the indigenous species of both animals and trees are now uh, being pushed out and eradicated basically because these trees are so, so- Invasive. Invasive, yeah, and so do, are doing so well here. So I'm not sure what the plan is to deal with it, but it's definitely something that I know is a challenge for the Moshik mountain range as well as the Algarve in general. So um, yeah, but these are all over. We just got done with the section where some fell on the on the path. It was was pretty challenging. So we'll see how the rest of the path looks. Careful. Chestnut about to <laughs> So not only do you have to fight the eucalyptus, you gotta fight the chestnut trees. Alright. Coming through. Okay. Hazards of hiking in the Mont Chiques. <laughs> Lots of trees. And unkept paths. I just stepped in a cow patty. <laughs> that thing was slippery. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> So we just showed you some footage of some cocoon-like things on the ends of these pine trees. And we learned, we actually saw these in Spain, driving on back down to the Algarve, and we saw them in the trees. And I'm like, it was so weird. So we looked it up, and apparently these cocoon type things are, are made by this caterpillar called a processionary caterpillar, which then turns into the processionary moth. We'll put a link to this um, crazy little creature, but they come down the tree and they walk nose to nose or butt to butt or whatever as they come down to eat. However, they're very poisonous and as, a, as, a, as an example, if a dog eats one, his tongue will just disintegrate. Um, they're not really good for humans either. They say when the wind's blowing, not to go out hiking in the woods where these guys hang out. Had no idea they were in the Algarve and we just uh, saw them. So. Pretty interesting. I, I really highly suggest you check out that link we're going to put in and read about them. It's freaky. Bonus, we found a waterfall. Not a very big one, but a waterfall nonetheless. What are the locals up to? 
Yeah, well, hanging out. Well, Bessie here is having a little chew. It's cute because every time she chews, her bell rings. <laughs> okay. Bye, Bess. <laughs> You could ride all the way, the rest of the way up. What do you think? That would be, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> Since now ride. the rest of the way is up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Only got one helmet, you can't do it. Sorry. Okay, sorry. This is a cork tree. Cork, as you know, is used in, you know, bottles of wine, etc. has many purposes or many uses. And the way they, they grow the cork is it's essentially the bark on the tree. So this tree has sort of three layers. It, here at the bottom, it has number seven, which means in 2017, they harvested the cork from this section of the tree. There is kind of a faded seven, which this may have been 2007. And then up there, you see it was never harvested. So every, I think it's every eight or nine years or so, they go through and for the cork trees that they have in their particular piece of land, they go in and they, they take off the outer layer of the bark. It then grows back and it takes, you know, eight, nine years for that to happen. And so that the, the owner of the tree knows when to harvest, they mark it with the year. So you'll see these all over and within the same patch, you'll have different numbers because they didn't all harvest everything at the same time. So it's pretty cool. Portuguese, Portuguese uh, cork is still considered to be the best in the world and they are the biggest producer as well. eucalyptus trees and it just smells like I stepped into a florist shop but I want to show you on this side well I already have one but you have this leaf and on this side you have this eucalyptus leaf which is longer did you know eucalyptus came in different shapes I did so we have the round and the long and it smells divine in here I love it So last little bit, steep uphill, and then we make it. Thank you for joining us today, hiking up uh, Foya, which is the tallest mountain here in the Algarve at about a thousand meters, so 3,000 feet. It's a great day, beautiful, sunny, a bit chilly, but you know, it's December 27th or 28th today, so right. I can't complain too much if you're wearing shorts. Yeah. Um, so, go ahead. I was just going to say it's a, a nice little escape from the coast down there. You can see the Atlantic Ocean behind us. The hike has gotten us really hungry though, so we're on the lookout for a place to eat. We're going to go to the little town of Monchic and find a place, hopefully, with a view where we can keep looking at this gorgeousness. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Don't for forget joining. to subscribe. Yep. And We'll see you soon in our next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.